Welcome to my The Way You Look Tonight chord melody guitar lesson. Hi, my dear jazz friends around the globe. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. You can download all the lesson material like the tab and the backing track from the link down below in the description box. Please visit my lesson shop guitar version for more lessons like this one. And now let's get started. We're in the key of E flat major and we have the usual song form A, A, B, A, but each section is twice as long. So each section has uh, 16 bars that makes up to uh, 64 bars. That's twice as long. But don't worry because there are not too many notes in a melody, so you mostly the chords just ring. Let's get started right away with the uh, first phrase, the A1 section. We start with this E flat major chord right up until that E string. And now, this is the melody, I fill up the rest of the bar because the rest of the bar is no more melody. By just picking or patching through the, uh, through the chord. Make sure that the filling sounds quieter than the melody. So the first one has the melody, it's louder. And the rest one is a little quieter. So you can tell the difference between what's melody and what's just the comping, the, uh, the, the fill actually. Next we have a C minor. The song uh, progression in the beginning is one, six, two, five. So that's the first chord of E flat. Now we have the sixth chord is C minor, only up until the G string here. The 
then we have uh, the two chord is the F minor seven and this is where a little bit of melody going on we have this if F minor seven with the um, sorry with the F on top I bar this already because now I have to add the ninth which is the eighth fret here the G on the B string then the A flat and I strum it again so you uh, you can strum the chord like at the beginning you should strum it and in the middle also and then going back to the G you could have also played it really doesn't matter you can strum your chord uh, new at whenever you like then we go to the five chord B flat nine and that's a D half diminished so the B flat root is missing but that's also a B flat 9 chord again I strum through it and then our arpeggiate quiet then we go to the 1 chord again E flat major 7 melody moves up to the A flat G minor 7 so don't uh, lift your pinky just move it along the B string to G minor 7 and D flat 9 now that's the tri tritone substitute of G altered. Here's a D flat 9. That's the same thing we had here in B flat. So memorize where your roots are so you can move your stuff around. So your virtual root is here and you start one to the left and you get a D flat 9 and that's a tritone substitute for G altered. Okay, so we have move down to C the resolution C9 and then we arpeggiate through it then the two chord again F minor 9 bar over for that B flat get that C on top 8th fret and strum through everything F minor 7 this is and lift it again for that B flat then a cowboy chord B flat 7. I could have made it complicated, but I wanted this wanted this to be, uh, be a beginner friendly chord melody arrangement, right? So I chose this. And it's not a bad choice here actually. With that seventh on top. This is your top note. Then B flat on top. Next melody tone. C D leading us to the E flat on top with a B flat minor that makes it a B flat minor 11 chord and A7 that's a sub 5 for E flat 7 see here's E flat if you change it to an A you get an A7 with that E flat on the top is the melody makes it an A7 flat 5 it's a tri so called tritone substitution this resolves to A flat major A flat 6 sorry again move your pinky up the B, B string to the G minor G flat 9 that's another tritone substitution for C7 so here's your tritone if I just exchange the root you would get a C altered chord C7 sharp 5 so G flat 9 resolves to F minor 9, B flat 9, and E flat 6. That's also where the end is for the last A A3 section. But actually this has a long appendix here in the A1 section. 1, 2, then C minor. That's the 6 chord. The 2 chord just, there is no more melody going on. This is just chords filling. So the 1 chord, the 6 chord, only guide tone voicings. F minor 7, B flat 7. So what are guide tone voicings? Guide tone voicings that have just the root, the 3rd and the 7th. And I chose those because um, they don't interfere with the melody, right? There is no more melody right here, so I wanted to keep the, the comping really low to make sure it's a comping and not people think it's uh, a melody. So there's no more melody here. That's the last melody tone. Six, two, five, then 
G minor 7, C minor 7, and here's the first house, the first ending, last bar. F minor 7, you can fret bar this or play it as this or this. Then you play the B string, B flat 7, E string, and then it starts all over again. So here is the entire A1 section at slow tempo. We have a ballad, so this is slow already. Three, four. So for the A2 section you repeat the entire A1 section except for the last bar. The last bar is just an F minor 7 up until the B string right away now. 2 and then a B flat 7, 3, 4. That's basically it. Check out my 35 beginner chord melody jazz standards if you want to add some real popular standards to your repertoire. You get the PDF tabs and the Guitar Pro tabs including standard music notation and of course you get uh, all the detailed video tutorials. There is a link down below this video in the description box that leads you to the uh, 35 jazz standards and the bundle price is a real bargain so grab yours now. Welcome to the B section. We have 16 bars. Phrase number 3 has the first 8 bars. And we now change to the key of um, G flat major. We have a G flat major 7 chord here. And we play it and then we pick through it. That last note this time is not only an arpeggio note, it's um, a melody note. So play it a little louder. Then we go to G diminished, which stands for an E flat 7 flat 9, right? I have a video how uh, diminished chords substitute uh, dominant altered chords or flat 9 chords. And that's very important for chord, chord melody because we use it a lot there. But also for soloing, it's very important. Check out that video. I put a link up here somewhere. All right. Pick through it and again the highest note is the melody again. Then resolves to A flat minor 9. Here would be the root. We don't play well, you could play it, but um I prefer not to. Then A flat minor 11. Just glide your pinky again. Bridge over, seventh fret, fourth fret. And now the next chord is a D flat 9 chord. So I, this is a, B flat, a D flat 9 chord. I already bar this. I just play the highest note and let it ring into the next chord. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Then we have a G flat major 9. This comes from this G flat um, major 7 chord. I don't play the root, but I play the 9th. Okay, the ear can make up for that root. So E flat, uh, G flat major nine, B flat, G flat six nine, F, and I keep the, I keep this ringing again, and I add the E flat minor nine chord below. Um, yeah. Then I play the E flat minor seven chord. Okay, so coming from that G flat. Tricky, you may want to practice this a bit, just this little P 
piece. Then A flat minor um, 11, no 7, sorry, we go up here, all the way up here. Arpeggio 3, then, then a D flat 13. Again, this comes from this D flat 13 comping chord. I don't play the root, but I add the 9th on top. Still called D flat 13 or D flat 13 9. And that's it. And now let me repeat uh, phrase number three at slow tempo for you. Three, four. You can help to keep the free video tutorials of this channel running by becoming a member of the channel and you can do so by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button which also grants you access to my mini lessons. You can also say a little thank you by clicking the thanks button and donate a little something. This really helps with the productions of the videos. Thanks a lot. And here are the second eight bars of the B section and then we're already finished because then it's only the A3 section, which is basically the A1 section. All right, now uh, we continue with that G flat major seven up here on the uh, ninth fret, all the way through. Last one is melody tone again, a little louder. G diminished. Last time we had the G diminished down here, right? The G was in root. Now we have it here because they re re diminished chords repeat themselves all three frets. One, two, three, and here is the G here. The G's, the diminished chord can have any name, you know, of these. Any any of these notes can be the root. So all you need to do is search for G on any of these fingers and wrap the other fingers around and you got a diminished chord. And this again stands for an E flat 7 flat 9. That's a substitution. Or actually it is an E flat 7 flat 9 without the E flat. All right. Melody note again, the last one. Resol resolution A flat minor 11. Leave that in a uh, pinky line here. Move it up to the 11th fret. A flat minor 6. B flat on top. D, the 5 chord, D flat 9, 13. Here's your D flat 9, and this is your 13. So you could play it like that, but I uh, prefer not to play the root, then it's easier to fret. Right? And the 4th fret, melody note on 1, and then you go to G flat major. It's a new shape, all the way up. On the B string, we have the melody note again at the end, so... I actually, usually I bar this already, because then I don't need to turn my wrist. I don't like playing like... that. You know, I will not catch that G flat, so I already have my hand in a the position. Then the fourth degree of the scale is C flat major 7 sharp 11 or flat 5. What a beautiful chord, a Lydian chord. And then it goes to the regular major 7 chord. Just exchange your index for your middle finger. Usually I would fret it like this, but since I have this, I don't like playing like this. I like to use my thumb, but you don't have to. You can play this, and then you would need to change these things. So I think this is easier once you get used to using your thumb. And it doesn't matter how long your thumb is. Mine is super tiny, and you don't need to wrap your thumb around the neck like a monkey, all you need to do is just a little bit is usually enough. Then F minor 9, now we have that 2-5 uh, that goes back to the A section. The A section st starts with an E flat major chord and usually the last bar before you go to a new section or to an old section again you play a 2-5, and the 2nd and the 5th degree of the E flat major scale are F minor, 
in this case F minor 9 11 because we need that 11 on top and B flat altered tritone substitution for B flat altered look at this B flat 7 sharp 5 would be the standard altered chord here I exchange the B flat for the tritone away a tritone is always one to the right on the next string that's an E flat uh, an E you get an E9 and the melody is the B flat and that's your standard tritone sub E E9 sharp 11 that's a little hard to catch because it's very narrow here if you can't catch that E because then your index does funny things and it sounds wrong then you can do just the upper four strings that's okay you could actually play with the low E string and mute the A string that's also possible that's very deep sounding very rich so um, and you arpeggio through that and then you move these one to the left if you can yeah here you have to be careful it's tricky you have to move it to the right it's tricky so maybe you want to play and then yeah, it's a lot easier so you can do whatever you like and uh, now uh, let's repeat phrase four for you at slow tempo three four Check out my chord melody playlists if you're into chord melody guitar style. I hope you liked my The Way You Look Tonight guitar lesson. Please give it a fat thumbs up because it's super important for me as a creator, you know, the YouTube algorithm. Please share the love and the knowledge. Hit that uh, subscribe button and that bell notification so you never miss uh, out new videos. Please, um, yeah share the love. I said that already. I see you next week. Servus, Baba.